Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this Excel tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the colors of the row whenever there's a change in the date. For example, in this sample data set over here, if you take a look at the first three rows, uh, the date here is 31st December, wherein I have highlighted them in the light blue color. However, when the date changes, that is to 1st January 2015, the entire uh, range here for the set for the date range of 1st January 2015 is in dark blue likewise I would want to have the next date in the lighter shade of blue so I did this manually but let us learn how to do this automatically using the conditional formatting which is available within Excel so let's get started I'm going to show you how the what we need to do uh, first we will have to write a formula to identify when the change is occurring okay so let us get started i'm going to start with typing in is equals to unique okay this is the formula that we will be using in the beginning okay and then it's asking us to enter the array details array array details okay we're going to select this particular cell over here and let us press f4 and freeze this particular cell notice that we have a dollar sign before e and before 2 as well which means that we are going to freeze the column as well as the row okay and then i'm going to type in colon and then type in dollar then e2 okay so what this is do, going to do is the first section of the formula is going to freeze both the column as well as the uh, row in the second field in this or the second section of the formula we are only freezing the column we're not freezing the row okay and then i'm going to close the bracket here and press enter now what happens is when you move or when you drag the formula to the next cell you will notice that it is changing from notice the second part of the formula which is e2 and then this is becoming e3 and this is becoming e4 this is where we'll be able to identify if there is any change in the formula right so we're going to use the unique function okay and now we will be using the count a function okay count a open and close the bracket and press enter now let us drag this and see what happens right so it is now telling us one 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 whenever there's the same value it just tells us it is one and the, when the value changes and then it moves to two and then when it when the value changes when the date value changes again and then it becomes three so basically it keeps on adding one number whenever the date changes. This is happening using the unique function. And then it, we are using the count A to count the values, right? Now, we need a function or a formula to tell us whether, uh, when the conditional formatting should change the color. For that, we will be using the formula called is even. Okay is even and then close the bracket and press enter so let us just drag this formula over here for now so it is telling us if it is even it is true if it is odd it is false right again this is an even number it is telling us it is true now let us quickly copy this entire formula over here and then select our okay let's get rid of the formatting that we have right now okay let's clear no fill Okay, and then let us select the entire data set and fill this with a uh, light shade of blue. Okay, let us do this. And then let's select the entire data set and go to conditional formatting and then new rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Okay, you need to select this. And then in this section over here, paste the formula that we just created with is equals to okay for, and then let's click on format over here and we need a fill we need a little darker shade of blue this is what we will be going to select and then click on ok and then click on ok again okay now let's get rid of the column that we created here because we don't need it now if you notice that by using the conditional formatting we have automatically highlighted our entire data set whenever there's a change in value so for example here we have 2nd of January and whenever it changed to 3rd of January we have the darker shade of blue and then the next date again here on 4th January we have the lighter shade. This is a cool feature if you want to highlight the date changes within your Excel data set. I hope this video has helped you, you've learned something new, please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.